Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you this simple dimmer circuit that we can use to vary the intensity of an incandescent DC lamp. And we can also use it for uh, varying the speed of a DC motor. The circuit is based on the 555 timer and only needs a few other components a couple of resistors, a common diode, capacitor, a potentiometer, and a power transistor with its base resistance. We will uh, now see the schematic of the circuit. As you may know, the 555 timer produces a train of rectangular pulses at its pin 3 something like this the voltage varies between zero volts up to the applied voltage in our case is 12 volts and these pulses have a certain width so in this case in this type of output most of the time the lamp receives uh, 12 volts and only during a small period of time it receives zero volts. In this other case most of the time the lamp is at zero volts and only during the pulse which is a small time it receives 12 volts. So in this case the lamp brightness will be very low because most of the time is off and in this other case the brightness will be high because most of the time it is on and we can vary continuously from these two uh, extremes using the potentiometer next time you need a PCB for your electronics project consider using the professional services of JLC PCB JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. This is the schematic. All the components are marked in its values. Uh, the transistor is an NPN transistor. I am using the zip 35 c but you can use any NPN power transistor. And this diode here is a common rectifier diode. Any rectifier diode uh, will work. So as, uh, as we told before, the output at pin 3 is a train of pulses and this is applied to the base of the power transistor. We need a transistor because the maximum current that the 555 can handle is only 200 milliamps and the lamp can draw uh, around 1 amp. Therefore, we need a power transistor for this circuit. And varying the potentiometer, we can also change the duty cycle of the 555 timer and the transistor amplifies the current that is fed to our lamp or DC motor. So let's now see the circuit in action. Okay, so here is the circuit connected as in the diagram. Let me turn on the power supply and let's see. We move the potentiometer and the brightness of the lamp changes. Maximum brightness to almost off. Notice that the voltage remains always at 12 volts, but what is changing is the duty cycle that goes to the lamp. It is turning on and off very fast. The frequency is high, so we do not notice the turning on and off of the lamp, but it is the duty cycle that is changing. Therefore, the power that goes into the lamp also changes. 
and as we said before we can also use the circuit to vary the speed of a DC motor let's see the motor is running I'm going to move the potentiometer can you hear the change in the pitch of the motor the speed is varying when we move the potentiometer So there you have it, a very simple dimmer circuit. I hope you liked the video, if that is the case, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next video.